Welcome to ET Careers Gen Next, where we decode the questions of careers of today and tomorrow. And today, we're going to talk about psychology. Within that, we're going to talk about a few emerging areas where interesting work opportunities are emerging. And not just that, the most important thing in psychology is that, according to multiple reports, the number of trained professionals required in the field and the number of existing trained professionals show that there is a demand supply gap which means that more people can actually learn the subject, look at emerging areas of uh, specialization and have uh, meaningful careers in the area they like to specialize in. Not just that, you know, after COVID and during COVID, what we have seen is that the focus on mental health has increased. More people are talking about it and more places are taking it seriously. And again, you know, probably one reason why psychology is uh, being looked at with importance. So let's talk psychology today. Now, what are these areas? The first one is clinical psychologist. Now, clinical psychologist is the person who would try to understand what is bothering someone when they're feeling mentally low and try to use different techniques, which could be, you know, psychoanalytic, humanistic or cognitive and try to find answers to those. They don't prescribe medicines, but they try to understand and help a person. And you would see them working in clinics, you know, in hospitals, in spaces like that. And this is an emerging area of focus for uh, those who are studying psychology. The second one is specialization is child psychologist. Now today, a lot of children are also having a lot of, uh, you know, anxieties, you know, uh, issues, you know, this could, which could stem from attention deficit, you know, certain kind of learning disorders, you know, maybe deep, uh, you know, kind of fears about certain things. And many times, you know, parents also want their children to actually go through a proper child psychology um, help so that they are able to address this early on. And that specialization, you would find these people again, you know, working maybe in hospitals and clinics, um, in, uh, you know, children's hospitals, etc., where they really try to help children um, you know, in the right way as they are growing up. Now, the third one is an interesting area where you could also probably find the use of psychology in the industrial context. Now, today's work environments have changed a lot, right? People are working longer hours, you know, people are working digitally, people are working in a hybrid or remote models, organizational structures are emerging, you know, the KPIs or the expectations on people are, you know, becoming really, really, um, you know, critical in many cases. And to deal with that, sometimes people need help. Industrial psychologists are the people who kind of connect the both, right? It could be between the org structure and, the, you know, the human uh, way of looking at things. They are able to make sense of it and help people understand psychology in the industrial context, which is very important in today's organizational context um, and how people can align with that. There are also counselors. Now, counselors, you know, they would be looking at specific problems. You know, you would find them probably working, say, in um, in rehabilitation centers, in trauma centers, and areas like that, where they may not go deep into the behavioral aspects of a problem, but they might focus uh, on very specific and immediate triggers and try to help you kind of address that and uh, you know move out of that. Uh, so, very very important role which is today played by counselors. Counselors are also found in certain other areas, you know, which could be even in your um, you know, marriage counseling, you know, career counseling, you know, these could be other areas where there are elements of psychology which could also come in, uh, which are not directly leading only to mental health, but a broader aspect of, you know, counseling about one particular area or one particular issue. Now, coming to the last part, another interesting area which is coming up is forensic psychology. Now, in forensic psychology, uh, the psychologist is trying to use the discipline to also understand how, uh, you know, a mind would work when there is some amount of crime or there is some level of, uh, you know, something which is not going right with the law. So they would use forensic psychology and they would work with forensic experts to really understand human mind in these kind of critical conditions. So this is again an emerging discipline. Uh, you know, we would have seen certain serials and TV which show this, uh, you know, in practice. And these are people who would therefore work with the law enforcement, law enforcement department and maybe work on solving real life crimes. Um, last but not the least, you know, psychology in itself is a very fascinating discipline because study of the human brain, what else is, what else could be more fascinating than that? But it is also coupled very well with certain other quantitative disciplines as well. So for example, today you might find an economist or you might find a statistician or you might find a you know, person studying finance also taking up courses in psychology or having a specialization or a double kind of specialization in psychology because there are emerging disciplines like behavioral finance, behavioral economics, which definitely use the skill and understanding of psychology to apply to those domains and disciplines. So there are different opportunities emerging for people who want to study psychology and also in their boards today, you know, class 10, class 12 boards today, psychology is offered as a subject that people can take up with multiple different combination of subjects 
So if you're interested in the subject, do dive in and look for the interesting opportunities of careers which that can allow for. Thank you so much and we'll come back soon with the next episode of ET Careers Gen Next. Thank you.